Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Yes, ma'am. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Sorry, ma'am. Security room's off limits. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. You can't treat us like animals. If I get sick, Why isn't Osborne down I'll here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now. Security Protect room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is... Please remember, they've been doing this for your safety. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Okay, okay, I'm gone. <sighs> Multi-million dollar building with network speeds from 19... <laughs> I like this thing. Copy. Making a switch. Control. I heard something. Running a switch. Good boy. I'm sure Sable lost elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Useless button. Mm. <sighs> Norman bids the fabulous Osborne boys. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. <gasps> it's the combat prototype from the schematic. 
schematic for the prototype mask. Norman seems to be pushing Oscorp towards defense work. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in bello, peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but... Thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room.
look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta fuck. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. 
R27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. TR27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Looks like a map of the Upper West Side. No, I need to track Michaels. Van Adder is a dead end. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. Should check the patrol routes against Oscorp buildings. Good old Alpha Team. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Isn't that... Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Have a breach. High alert. Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. I need to clear that balcony. You are 
crazy. You're amazing. 